So, if you guys have seen the previous video, then you would know that we got the engine and transmission together and got the engine ready to go into the car. In this video, the goal is to get the car ready to receive the engine and then put the engine in. Well, um, we didn't quite do that. Tyrannosaurus Rex? <laughs> oh, I was gonna try to get that, I was about to go on to get that on camera. Dude, these are like new. No, these have a burnout on them or so. Never look mind. At, look at the heat, the heat The wave. tread is better than you'd think. Yeah, that's not, they're not bad for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot it's double spacer. Double spacered up on a oh. Saturday night. These front ones look great. Do you it's want to raise it while we're under here? Yes. I can almost guarantee these aren't tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That's so bad. When I bought this car, the owner told me, make sure you don't expect anything to be bolted in. And he was not kidding. The front suspension has nothing bolted in. So that's exactly what we're doing right now, is we're bolting everything up so it can actually handle the engine when it comes in. Okay, so like nothing is a 17. I grabbed a 17 out of a whim. Oh, this one is a 17. I was looking at this tie rod and this is not going in and the tie rod actually spins with it sometimes. It's not now. Oh wow, I can just undo this part. So we're gonna take the tie rods out and this one's gonna be kind of hard to take out because the bolt spins with it every now and then. Well, it's actually coming, never mind. It's not gonna be hard at all. Um, but I forgot, the, the previous owner gave me new tie rods whenever I bought the car. So we're gonna put those in. We're doing a lot in this video. We're putting tie rods in, we're tightening things up, Content. These are just inners. <laughs> These are just inners. Dang it. Careful. You're not going to jack you die. <laughs> Slave cylinder installed. Now, these two uh, parts are here are broken wires. If you get the two, they're gonna go in and redo those. How's the suspension going? Wait, I got, this is a brand new inner tie rod right here. Yeah. I'm about to slide the boot on and put the outer tie rod on. Thank you for your help. Uh, uh, I greased the uh, inner tie rod. Look at how pretty that is. So much better. Much better. Got the new wires on. So this is what the wire the wiring harness is gonna buckle into those. So buckle? Oh, that's not. It's gonna click into these, so that'll be cool. So for the valve covers, I'm just going to uh, put the valve covers on without a gasket, just to protect everything, uh, because I still need to like paint these on the other side or have them done. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do 100% yet, so we're just gonna put them on without gasket for now. Oh, that fits way better on that side. We didn't get the engine in that night like we planned. Some of us had to work, but we did get the harmonic balancer on. We used some cool tools to do it. And now let's go ahead and try like a week later to get the engine in successfully. So as you guys can see, it's, it's about to happen. So what we need to do, I'm gonna take that transmission bracket off. Now we need to determine if we're gonna try and do this with the car jacked up or the car on the ground. I am super excited to go on ahead and get this in. If you guys know how long of road this been, it has been super, super long just to get this done. We got the harmonic balancer on. We didn't really film it because we were just kind of focused on getting it done. Um, Kevin's over here putting in an engine we're all just focused on me putting on an exhaust tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, one's, no one cares. It's like, yeah, exhaust tip. <laughs> I guess the real content's over there. He so needs a fill screwdriver, I told him no. His underwear is always showing. 
<laughs> okay. All right, Josh. So Nate, here's the goal, right? Josh, we're really pushing everything in. We're gonna lift it and get it to where it can sit there, and then we're gonna stop. Well, no, no, no. We're gonna lift it to where it can hang without hitting this. See how it's hanging? Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So this that needs to be just past the one. So Josh, take the chicken. Go ahead and push. Watch the push. Hey, you got to look at that. I just did that. We got one. And a tornado. you're a real good tornado. Huh? Okay. Okay. Well, we can let it drop now. We'll touch right. the tangy leg. There we go. All right. Okay. Whoa. 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 Now. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Here, can get this on film. Oh, oh it's actually, it's so... Ooh. All right. So I can direct this down while you guys bring it forward just a little bit. Let's bring it forward about four inches. That's a lot. <laughs> All right, stop, 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 stop. Nate, right. your job is to hold it, keep it from hitting the firewall too bad. Like it is right now. It's hitting it, but. All right, now, also, Nate, watch your fingers because it's about to go down. God, it's about to get funky. I'm going to go down as slow as I can. Yeah, okay. don't hit that oil pan. Okay. Okay. Now we got to go forward again. Yep. All right, so, Nate, I'm just keeping it from hitting. Let go. It's gonna smack right up. Like up? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go forward some more. Alright, go a little bit, like an inch. Okay, let's go down some more. Stop so before the oil pit. Yes. Okay, we can go plenty back up. Okay, gosh, just a few inches at a time. That's how he likes it. So you got like eight inches. So while they're working on the transmission stuff, hey, I'm gonna just start working on the brackets. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this bracket's supposed to go, so I'm just gonna kind of do uh, centered for each way, like that. So I got. <laughs> I can move this Guys, thing. just, 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 just lower the jack. <laughs> or just jack up the transmission. You don't even need to get it out. <laughs> so, guys, uh, got out on hand tight, so then we can adjust it as time goes on. But that one's in, that's gonna put the other one in. And they're both in, but that's honestly the least of our issues right now. Because the biggest issue of doing this, in my mind, is going to be the distance between here and here. Um, that's going to be a big problem. Well, guys, I just did some research on my phone because we were having such crazy difficulties, and now I realize why we can't get it in. I made a mistake, so this video is going to be a failure, and we have to take the engine right back out. Josh and Jordan, come here. I'm going to see if you guys can spot where my mistake was. Oil pan and the subframe. Yes. The lines. I want to show you all something. Too far forwards. This oil pan right here is more expensive than the oil pan we're running right now. This is an S14 LS swap oil. Pan. You see the uh, tank on the oil pan, right? What I did was I focused deeply to figure out if the height of the tank and the width of the tank was the same. Because I figured if that was the same, then this one would work, right? 
in focusing so much on two things. One, saving money, because that's a $500 oil pan on my phone. That's a $150 one. So focusing so much on saving money and on making sure that these dimensions are correct, I failed to notice that the oil pans on that are made for these swaps, the tank is here. And I realized that while I was in the bathroom. Oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah. So um, the other thing that tripped me up is usually the drain plugs are behind on vehicles. You know, they're back there. And on the Chevy engines, that's how the stock oil pan is. So that's one of the reasons why I figured that that's how the oil pan went on. Now for people watching, if you guys can't fully see, these different bolts for the oil pans are in different sequences and orders. You can't just flip this around and then it works. So that there's a certain shape to the gasket. And then, that, that would make sense because then the big part of the tank is here. Yes. That's super easy. Which I've seen on a lot of swaps, but I, I didn't relate it to this. Yeah. So. Yeah, because right now, if you got that down in there, yeah. this would sit like right here. I know, and I was thinking that it would sit back there, but now that I know what I know and I'm looking at it, I mean, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, that's my mistake. I, I should have known that. Live and learn. Yeah, that's one of the things about building cars. And before we do it next time, we'll put the longer chain on and we'll. Yeah, we'll adjust the. Although it'll be way easier to get in because we can just set it down how it is right Yeah, now. I don't think we'll even need to adjust <laughs> it. Yeah, it would. Imagine you guys can imagine like what how easy so it, it would be. Easy. It would just drop right in. It wouldn't be an issue. It was the only issue, really, yeah. I'm gonna say, it, this is pretty humbling. It, it, it's humbling <laughs> to, to, you know, it's I made a failure. it. failure. I mean, it's a failure for today. It's a failure for our goals for today. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, that, I'm not saying I didn't have a lot of fun. I'm, with it. I'm just saying that our goal was to get this in tonight. It's in. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We, we did it. I mean, we, we this video is not a failure. Not bolted anything. Well, guys. Ooh. Oh, he's doing it again. He can't stop himself. Let's go ahead and pull the the engine out. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and order that. Um, how we need it to be. Try to sell this one. And uh, sell this one for two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> make money on it. Wow. I wish it was that easy to put in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons. Josh, I'm gonna hold the engine so it doesn't squirm over and pull it back a little bit. Squirm? Yeah, squirm. 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 Squirm.